All right, it is Thanksgiving. MTG next door here. Let's open some packs. Uh, these are the, so technically these are packs number, I'm sorry, I just took them off camera. I was talking. These are packs number 11, 12, 13, and 14. I've opened packs, four packs from the box. First four packs were shit. Uh, and then I opened uh, my six packs a couple days ago and um, I'll be posting that video after we play because I don't trust either of y'all to not use that information against me. Um, but that's that. Um, let's try to keep this one short. We're all opening these, these right now. I took my damn glasses off. I'm no better. I'm so stupid. I uh, ran the virtual peach tree this morning. Every part of me hurts because I'm not a runner, but I'm stubborn and I don't miss a peach tree. I haven't missed one in like 13 years. 15 maybe, something like that. Um, I'll stop if I see anything that looks somewhat interesting, but makeshift munitions, Avon Surveyor, Angelic Gift, Duhond Operative, Undying Rage, Azure Fleet Admiral. I'll read the pirates, that's what we'll do. This is, this is, uh, this is for Guard Dog, if uh, you're out there watching these videos. Uh, I'm reading the pirates. So this is a, four, a three and a blue human pirate for three, th uh, three, three. Um, and I went ahead, oh, damn it, I shut my monitor off. I'm so stupid. God, what is wrong with me? Uh, so, uh, human pirate, 3-3 three, three for three and a blue. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. Uh, it can't be blocked by creatures the monarch controls. So, ideally, with pirates don't fight, you want to become the monarch, and then somebody else attacks you, becomes the monarch, and then he gets through for three damage every single time. I mean, that's cool. Uh, Ninth Bridge Patrol, like that art for some reason, don't know why. That is cool, cool, cool. Uh, so, Sentinel Spider, Foundry Inspector reprint, Ghastly Demise, Angel of the Dawn. Uh, I own his Judgment, and here, the antithesis. I hate this artwork. I just hate it. I don't know why, I've, ever since this was first printed, don't like it. Uh, Lumen, Grid, Gargoyle, and Winter. We are into our own commons. I will read those, because, you know, uncommons are cool. Uh, four and a blue. This is Burning Anger. Four and a blue for enchantment. Enchanted creature has tap. This creature deals damage equal to its power to any target. Oh, man. There was used to be a, call, a card, an enchantment like this. It was like a flame whip or something that did similar things. And, um... I remember my friend Asher would attach, uh, it to death touch creatures. Um, he made a sick deck out of it. Uh, but yeah, I like that. <clears throat> uh, victimize. Choose two target cards in your graveyard. Sacrifice a creature. If you do, return the chosen cards to the battlefield tapped. Uncommon. Fern Arcane Signet. And our first rare is a rare. Court of Ambition. When Court of Ambition enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. At the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses three life unless they discard a card. If you're the monarch instead, each opponent loses six life unless they discard two cards. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Uh, our first commander is Ghost of Ramirez Di Pietro. Um, man, that Legends card. Probably one of the more, it was probably a useless one. Um, I don't remember what Ramirez did, but I remember the artwork and it was cool. Uh, so this is two and a blue for a two three spirit pirate. Ghost of Ramirez can't be blocked by creatures with toughness three or greater. Whenever this card deals combat damage to a player, choose up to one target card from a graveyard that was discarded or put there from the library this turn. Put that card into its owner's hand. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And it's got partner. It's just too much for me to think about right now. Second one's uncommon. Alharu Solemn Ritualist. Four and a white for a human monk. When it enters the battlefield, put a 1 1 counter on each of up to two other target creatures. Whenever a non token creature you control with a 1 1 counter on it dies, create a 1 1 white spirit creature token with flying. Cool, 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 cool. And our foil is a common. Oh, it's a foil command tower. That's pretty nice. Look at that. Maybe I could pick that up. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything on camera. Actually, it's because this foiling is kind of shitty. The only thing is foil is the clouds above it, so. Uh, decent foil. I would assume that's worth a couple bucks. Because when have they ever printed, printed Command Tower as a foil? 
Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll do the on-screen thing values after our post-production. Uh, that's uncommon. That's uncommon. Uh, run away together. What does that do? Choose. Oh, I already read this one last video. Uh, uh, Armory of Aroas. Wild Celebrants. Prosperous Pirates. It's a pirate. It's a 3, 4, for 5. When there's a battlefield, create two treasure tokens. There it is. There it is right there. Are you trying to get treasure tokens for the win? Blade Brand, Champion of the Flame, uh, Liss Alana Bowmaster, Eyebright Colors, Car Cartographer, Silverback Shaman, Sears Lantern, and our Millillary Spear, and another Command Tower. Uh, and Uncommons, we are in the Uncommons. Scholar of the Ages. When Scholar of the Ages enters the battlefield, return up to two card, target instant or associate cards from your graveyard to your hand. Six. Late game. Um, that could save some games, I'm guessing. Uh, I like that in a Chaos deck. I'm saying it right here. Uh, Kanji's Lieutenant. Uh, so two and a white for a 1-1. One, one. Uh, flying whenever Kanji's Lieutenant a attacks, attacking creatures with flying, get 1-1 one, one until end of turn. And then it's got Encore, 5 and 1 white to do that death, make two more of me thing. And our third uncommon is Armorcraft Judge. When it enters the battlefield, oh, it's an ar Elf Artificer, 3-3 three, three for 4. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card for each creature you control with a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Our first rare is a rare. Coercive Recruiter, four and a red for an orc pirate, four three, another pirate. Rare pirate. Uh, when it, when Recursive Recruiter or another pirate enters the battlefield under your control, gain control of target creature until end of turn, untap it, it gives haste, it becomes a pirate, and then you do stuff with it. First commander is a uncommon. It is two and a, uh, sorry, Keshit, Keshit? Keskit, the Flesh Sculptor. Two and a black for a 1-3 human artificer. Tap it to sacrifice three other artifacts and or creatures. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put two of them into your hand and the other into your graveyard. And it has partner. Who are we partnering with? Some rare dude. It's a turtle. I like turtles. Uh, Arkelia, Arkelos Lagoon Mythic. One black, green, blue for a turtle shaman. It's a 2-4. As long as it... Is tapped, other permanents enter the battlefield tapped. As long as Archelios is untapped, other permanents enter the battlefield untapped. Okay. I mean, that's good for, you know, I, I would say it's good for a, a budget commander. Because I mean, you, you know, put him down, then you could play those lands that are supposed to come in tapped, um, that are cheap. Uh, and our foil is a common. Charcoal Diamond. And a treasure token. <clears throat> Two more to go. I can't see what the timer is at because I'm getting an alert asking me if I have taken my fish oil for the day. And it won't go away until I click confirm. But I am not doing that. So I'm going to open these last two packs and ignore it. Aqueous Form, Crow of Dark Tidings, Skyraker Giant, Kite Sail Corsair, Gift of Paradise, Impulsive Pilfer. Oh, it's a pirate. So it's a one for a one one. When it dies, create a treasure token. And then it's got Encore for three and one red. So basically make two more copies of it. They come in and die. And you're going to get, for, for a net uh, of five, you get three treasure tokens. Like it. Uh, Captain's Call, Farhaven Elf, Bitter Revelation, Filigree Familiar, Raise the Alarm, Staunch Throne Guard, Opal Palace, and here's our Uncommons. Humble Defector, draw two, uh, it's a 2 1 for a 2. Draw two, tap it to draw two cards. Target opponent gains control of Humber, Humble Defector. Activate this ability only during your turn. Hey, I mean, card drawn red, right? Uh, interpret the signs. 5 and a blue for a sorcery. Scry 3, then reveal the top card of your library. Draw cards equal to the converted card's mana cost. The card's converted mana cost, so that's cool. Uh, Stinger Fling Spider, 4 and green for 2-5. Spider has reach. When there's a battlefield, you may destroy a target creature with flying. That is a reprint. I, I just put that in a spider deck. Um, our rares are rare. <clears throat> Armored Sky Hunter. 3 and a white for a 3-3 three, three flyer. Cat Knight. Whenever Armored Sky Hunter 
attacks, look at the top six cards of your library. You may put an aura or an equipment card from them onto the battlefield. If an equipment is put onto the battlefield this way, you may attach it to a creature you control. Put the rest of those cards at the bottom of your library in a random order. Okay, that's not bad. I haven't played equipment decks in a long time because I am not a fan. Uh, jury, Master of the Review. Black Red for 1-1, one, one, Human Shaman. Whenever you sacrifice a permanent, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Jury. When Jury dies, it deals damage equal to its power to any target. So I'm not a huge fan in your commander dying to have one of its effects go off, so meh. Uh, second one's an uncommon. Uh, so it is Tormod the Desecrator. Three and a black for 4-2. Whenever one or more cards leave your graveyard, create a tapped 2-2 black zombie creature token. Okay. Uh, our common is a, is a com is a foil is a common, raise the alarm. So two raise the alarms, one pack. Zombie. All right, last pack. No mythics. We're in a no mythic box, people. Oh, we almost lost the cards here. All right, last pack. We're in no mythic land. I don't know what's happened. Um, I did dump all the packs out of the box and accidentally when I opened it up. Or did I? No, it was on video. That was the last box. Okay, whatever. Prying Eyes. Howling Golem. Dragon Egg. Spontaneous Mutation. That is, just that is, how did that get past QA? That artwork is terrible, dude. I mean, it might be good, but they just painted black over everything. Ugh. Sometimes I can see the artwork on the card. I don't care how powerful it is. I'm not playing it. Dispeller's Capsule, Filigree Familiar, Captain's Call, Annoyed Alicer, Sanctum, some Sanitarium Skeleton, Fall Fall from Favor, Pirate's Cutlass, Benevolent Blessing, and we're in the, it seems like we're early today on Commons, but maybe we got one of those lizard, multicolored, weird looking things. Uh, Siren Storm Tamer, one for one one. Flying, sacrifice it for blue, and counter target spell or ability that target that targets you or a creature you control. Okay. Face fetters, three and a white. Uh, enchant permanent. When face fetters enters the battlefield, you gain four life. Enchanted permanent can attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be done on lesser mana. So you gain four life for paying one more for something that a lot of other things do. Nah. Hunter's Insight, two and a green. For an instant, choose target creature you control. Whenever that creature deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker this turn, draw that many cards. Those are, this is one of those cards that can sometimes be overlooked when you first read it. And don't think about the fact that late game, you've got Kozilek on the board, and then you snap this sucker down on it. It's, it's got to get through to the player, right? That's the only thing. That's why this is undervalued. If it says just dealt damage, do with combat damage, then it's, you know, automatically a rare, right? So, yeah, that's, yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't slow it down, but there's the first mythic we've pulled. There it is. Phyrexium Triniform. Nine for a golem. That's nine, nine. Okay, not interested yet. When it dies, create three, three, three colorless golem artifact creature tokens. Okay. If you've got nine, you're not far from 12, and the Encore is 12. So then after that, you make two more of these guys, and then they die and create six three three colorless golem artifact creature tokens, no matter what happens to them in combat. Okay, it's probably a trash mythic, but whatever. Our first commander is a two and a black for a three two. Armix Filigree Thrasher. It's a golem. Whenever Armix attacks, you may discard a card. When you do, target creature defending player controls gets minus X, minus X, and the turn where X is the number of artifacts you control plus the number of artifact cards in your graveyard. Wow, that is a big ask right there. It's got partner. Uh, oh, our second ones are rare. And is Nathaniel, uh, or I don't know, Lethali, the Boundless Dawn. Two green, white. Legendary creature, unicorn. Lifelink. At the beginning of each end step, if you gained life this turn, distribute up to that many 1-1 one -one counters among any number of other target creatures. That's it. Plain and simple. 2-2. Two -two. Our foil is a common. And it's fall from favor. So another foil matching the thing we've got in there. It's your prismatic piper snake. The Traza snake of the deck. So that's what we got. Um, four packs. 
we pulled six rares and mythics. Not bad. Well, five rares, one mythic. That's it. Hope everyone had a safe day today. Hope you just stuck with your pod and did your uh, Thanksgiving dinner. And I hope that, I hope, 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 against hope, that the goddamn COVID doesn't start taking more victims because people were reckless today.